you can set up control to email in two different ways. One way is to have each individual employee or user have their own email account. The other way is to have one company account. We will start off by looking at the company account. Let's move to the top and select Setup. Down to System Setup. And we'll slide over to the left and open up Email Options. Edit. To the left, we can see we have two options for email delivery, Internal or Outlook. By selecting Outlook, Control will send a PDF of the estimate or invoice to your Outlook account. From there, it will be sent out to the customer. By selecting Internal and filling out these fields below, an email will be sent through Control to the customer. To set up Control individually for each user, go to Setup, down to User Options, select it, then open Email Options. This is set up the same way as the system account. Once you have all the accounts set up, you can email right out of the system. Go to Explorer, open Explorer Orders, go to an order and right click. Let's go to Print and then Standard Invoice. Depending on whether or not the contact has an email address in the system, the address will auto default. If there is none, you can go under Email, click Show Detail, and put an address. Additionally, on this page, you can CC or BCC individuals. Also, you can customize the subject and the message. Alright, let's scroll down a bit. Here we can see that we can change the file type for the attachment. And then after we're finished filling in these fields, we can then send the email. Okay, let's cancel out of this. We're going to go to Explore, Explore Estimates, and we're just going to select an estimate. There's a different way to fill in information when sending an email. Let's go to Print, Standard Estimate here. Email Details. So instead of manually filling in all these fields, you can use what's called Merge Fields. For example, say in my subject line I didn't want this to be called Standard Estimate. I can go to Merge Fields, down to Estimate, and I could call this Estimate Description. And it will pull the referred information from that specific estimate. Now let's scroll down. Here's my file name. Let's say I didn't want my file name to be this either. We'll select it. Merge fields. And let's say I wanted it to pull the estimate number. Select it. So merge fields are a way to refer information from a specific estimate. It also saves you the time of manually plugging in the information for every email.